is me, Terrible. Game of the week, right here. Game of week four, Saints versus the Falcons. Young Way Ku hits the game winner. What a game that one was, uh, and we will get to it. But first, we must start with the Thursday game of week four, which was the Cowboys versus the Giants. I picked the Giants in this one. I have major regrets, all right? Uh, the Cowboys got the dub. It was 20 to 15, and it was very disappointing. No, it's, it's okay, it was expected. Um, Thursday night, you never know what's gonna happen with these, but uh, the Giants were right there. A lot of field goals in this one. They struck first, Rico Dowdle. He caught a touchdown. The Giants had another field goal, then what kind of broke it open was the, the CD Lamb bomb from Prescott. Um, 14-6, another field goal, so 14-9, heading into the half. They were doing okay. Malik Neighbors was going off. Uh, he didn't score in this one, but he had a crazy good game. Got a field goal, 14-12. But then Brandon Aubrey, he's just too good. Although I, he did miss in this one. Um, but 60, 60 yard field goal, he drills it. Um, Giants field goal, Aubrey field goal, and then that was it for scoring, 20 to 15. Um, Giants had a chance, they turned it over. Daniel Jones threw a pick. That was that. The rest was history. But in terms of numbers, uh, Dak, 22 for 27, 221, two TDs. So a pretty good day from him. Daniel Jones, 29 for 40, 281. No TDs. One pick. One brutal pick, uh, especially. But shockingly, the, the Giants could not run the ball. I thought Singletary would be able to do a little bit better against the, the Cowboys D. They've given up a lot in the run game lately. Um, but no, it's Regal Dattle, who had 46 yards. He was the leader rusher for the game. Um, C.D. Lamb, 7 for 98 and a touchdown. Jake Ferguson at 7 for 49. Uh, neighbors 12 for 115 that's crazy and then Wandell Robinson even he had 11 catches for 71 yards so he had 14 targets Malik had 15 targets so really uh, they're getting the ball to their guys I like it I mean they got guys like Darius Slayton Jalen Hyatt they're not good don't give them the ball I mean Slayton's like an okay number three but um, it's it's good to see them kind of just completely rework the the wide receiver room there but yeah giants are one and three cowboys are now two and two and we get into sunday and yes the first game we are talking about the game of the week saints falcons this was a good one i was mad because i did pick the saints so this is my second incorrect one for the week we went six and ten this week all right it's an awful week all right it's really bad but um Football is fun, so it's okay. Uh, but yeah, this was funny because the Falcons really didn't do that much on offense. Uh, they, they really didn't do anything. Uh, they had the, the muffed punt. They recovered in the end zone. Free seven points. Um, but then Taysom Hill, he was on. He was he was raging in this game. He had a rushing touchdown. Then he had another one in the second quarter. Uh, young like who field goal. And then Falcons pick six. So, they're up 17-14. They got a special teams touchdown and a defensive touchdown. No offense. No offense. <laughs> uh, they get the first field goal in the third. Saints get a field goal. We go into the fourth. 20-17. Falcons are up. So, anybody can win this. Anybody can take it. Young Way Koo puts them up six again. Alvin Kamara with a minute left. They, they drive. Runs it in. They're up one. They are up one. But doesn't matter, Falcons. Falcons weren't done yet. Young Waiku, 58 yard career long. For the win. For the win or loss. It wasn't even like tie go to overtime. This is you make it. You win. You miss it. You lose. Yeah. That's brutal. And he got the job done. It's crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. So yeah, congrats to the to the Falcons. They are what's crazy is the Falcons are just they're not that far off from being 0 and 4. <laughs> That's quite impressive. But uh, yeah, Kirk Cousins 238 and a pick. Not much on offense. Same thing with Derek Carr 239 and a pick. So pretty pretty close in stats there. But Kamara he 
had 77 yards and a touchdown. Algier had 60 yards. Bijan only had 28. Um, and then 46 receiving. Uh, Drake London, 6 for 64. Mooney had 56. Rayway McLeod had 52. Kyle Pitts, 3 targets, 0 catches. Bust. He's a bust. He's terrible. Um, they gotta just trade him or something. Uh, but yeah, Chris Olave, 8 for 87. Rashid Chihid, 8 for 83. Kamara at 42 yards receiving. 7 receptions, so big day for him. Um, but yeah, solid stuff. Taysom Hill, two rushing touchdowns. And he, then he got air. He got injured. He got hurt. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, nice win for the Falcons. Like I said, I'm 0-2 already from these first two, but luckily I'm going to bounce back a little bit with the next one because it's Bears versus the Ravens. The Rams, sorry, not the Ravens. The Rams. Uh, 24-18, Bears get to 2-2. Two two. Rams get to 1-3. Um, I have no faith in the, the Bears offense yet, but the defense is just so solid that I figured they'd be able to slow down the Rams. The Rams just have too many injuries, but Kyron Williams, guy's a beast either way. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. So Rams started off. They got the first two field goals of the game. Roshan Johnson runs one in. Cairo Santos field goal, so 10-6 at halftime. Third quarter, Rams, um, they get on the board. Another field goal. Three field goals for them. <laughs> no surprise there. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> DJ Moore gets a touchdown. Finally, he's done something this year. He wasn't having the, the greatest year so far, but I feel like that happened last year and he picked it up uh, halfway through or whatever, but he'll be fine. So Kyron, start of the fourth, runs one in. Um, they fail the conversion, so they're down two. And then Bears actually quick drive, big run from DeAndre Swift. He hasn't done a ton this year either, so it's nice for him to, to make a play like that. Um, and then they're up nine. Rams get a field goal, and that's a tough situation to be in. Uh, they ended up down two scores there, and Stafford, you know, they did get the ball back. They had the punt. They got the field goal, but then they had the punt. Then they got it back again, and then Stafford immediately throws a pick. And, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Um, so not not the best play from, from the vet, but, um, yeah, it happens. It certainly happens. So, yeah, Bears, they're 2-2. Two and two. It doesn't matter how bad they've looked the uh, first few weeks. They are 2-2. Two and two. It's crazy stuff. Rams 1-3. and three. And the next one, we got Vikings, Packers. This one was good um, because it was dramatic, and that's... That's what uh, we appreciate here. Uh, we like drama, all right? This is the this is our drama. <laughs> this is our soap opera. But uh, the Vikings held on. They're 4-0. Packers are now 2-2. 31-29 victory uh, for the Vikings. Let's go over this one. Um, the Vikings were just absolutely dominating. Addison touchdown. Josh Oliver touchdown. Addison touchdown. Jefferson touchdown. It's 28-0. It's 28-0 in this one. Uh, but Jaden Reed, he caught one. Um, and, and they scored. And, yeah, 28-7 going into halftime. Nothing happens in the third. Nothing. Um, no scoring, at least. Uh, but the Davion Wicks scores. All right, 28-14. Tucker Craft scores. They get the ball back pretty quickly. Get the two-point conversion. All of a sudden, boom. One-score game, but uh, well record, the rookie gets a field goal, so they bump it back up to nine. And kind of just ended up running out of time. They had a nice drive all the way down the field. Wicks gets a touchdown. Um, but that was it. That was it. They could not do much else. Um, Vikings end up just running out the clock, but costly fumble. Costly fumble by Kraft. So that's that's rough. They, and Jordan Love had a bad pick as well uh, in the second half of that game. So tough stuff, but no worries. It was a nice comeback for the Packers. Uh, it was so close, and it didn't seem like the Packers played very well. So, you know, it's, it's good to at least they, they came back. Uh, I'll give them that. Darnold, 20 for 28, 275, three TDs, one pick. Jordan Love, 32 for 54, 389, four TDs, three picks. So, 
a couple of those picks are, are canceling out the TDs, but uh, Jacobs, 51 yards rushing, uh, Aaron Jones at 93, Addison at a rushing touchdown, Andy caught one, Jefferson at 85 and a touchdown, Addison at 70, er, 72, yep. Um, Aaron Jones at 46 receiving as well, so pretty good for him. Jaden Reed, 7 for 139 and a touchdown. Uh, Dontavian Wicks, 5 catches, 78 yards, 2 touchdowns. Tucker Craft, 6 for 53 and a touchdown. Uh, Dobbs at 39 yards, so not too bad for him. Uh, but yeah, nice comeback for the, the Packers. I mean, they're 2-2. Two and two. Jordan Love just got back from injury. They're fine. 2-2 two and two is fine. Um, they're going to be all right. Uh, they should be all right. But Vikings, they keep doing it. I'm, saying, I'm telling you, if Justin Jefferson's out there, they got a shot to win. It don't matter. It don't matter. The next game, Steelers-Colts. I got this one wrong, too. At least the last one, I picked the Vikings. Um, this one, I picked the Steelers. And it was fun for a bit. Um, you know, I did pick the Steelers, but I also don't believe in Justin Fields at all. So watching him not play very well in the first half uh, was kind of fun, <laughs> even though they were losing. But JT... You know, 7-0. Taylor scores. Josh Downs. He scores after another long drive. And that's 14-0 after the first. And then another field goal for the for the Colts. 17-0. And Steelers got on the board. 17-3 at half. Uh, but hey, third quarter. Justin Fields leads a drive. Runs one in. So one score game. No big deal. But Colts. Drew Ogletree gets one from Joe Flacco, who came in. Richardson got hurt kind of early, and Flacco really came in, took over. He was he was pretty good in this one, that's for sure. Um, but Fields, once again, leads a drive, runs one in, cuts it to one score. Colts get a field goal. Steelers score, and, you know, they, they had, it was close at the end. They had a chance, um, but they ended up turning it over. Uh, they're trying to move the ball up the field, get into the field goal range. Um, yeah, just uh, fourth down. Couldn't get it done. Fourth 11 is tough. Fourth 11 is tough for sure. But pretty good game for the Steelers. First loss of the season. They're now 3-1. and one. The Colts are 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Fields, 312 yards and a touchdown. That's pretty crazy for him. Flacco, 168, two touchdowns. Richardson at 71 before he got injured. I guess it's the hip. I don't know. It's... it's that's not good. Maybe he'll be back next week. I have no idea. I'll have to look into it. But Fields, he had 55 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor, 88 yards, one touchdown. George Pickens had himself a day, 7 for 113. Fryermuth had 57 and a touchdown. Uh, Pittman, 6 for 113. He had a great day. Josh Downs, 8 for 82 and a touchdown. Drew Ogletree just had that one catch for 15 and a touchdown. So... Nice win for the Colts. Uh, they definitely need it. Gets them to two and two rather than one and three. That's pretty huge. Steelers are fine though. They are still at three and one. So in the next game, we have. I wanted to make this game of the week because you know it was hilarious. But the Broncos over the Jets. I did not have that. I had the Jets blowing out the Broncos. It was ten nine. The Jets looked awful. They looked so bad. They looked really bad. But it is what it is. So, uh, Broncos, guess they played all right, but you wouldn't know it uh, from the stats. You'll see in a second. Uh, but, yeah, Jets, they had the first two field goals uh, in the second quarter, so 6 nothing at halftime. And then late in the third, Cortland Sutton, nice drive from the Broncos. Sutton gets a touchdown, and they're winning, just like that, up by one. Uh, but Jets get back in the lead. They get another Greg Zerline field goal. Um, but then the Broncos follow that up with a field goal as well. Um, Jets had a chance. They did. Missed field goal at the end. Another drive, they turned it over on downs. Another drive, they had to punt. So, they're right there. They're right there. Yes, Zerline missed field goal. I forget how long it was. Let's see what we got. Uh, 50 yarder. That's tough. Although Legatron, he can handle that, but I guess he's getting a little older. Uh, maybe it's not as easy as it used to be for him. Uh, let's see. So Bo Nix, this is great. 12 for 25, 60 yards, one touchdown. Rodgers was 24 for 42, 
225, no touchdowns, no picks, five sacks. Uh, the line is not good. Um, Braylon Allen, 34 yards. Brees Hall had 10 carries for four yards. That's awful. Javante Williams, he had 77 yards. Uh, for as bad as he's been, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Sutton, three catches for 60 yards and a TD. It's crazy. The Bo Nix, he had 60 total passing yards. So Corlin Sutton had 60. Michael Burton had one catch for three yards. Javante Williams had two catches for three yards. But then they also had Troy Franklin. He had two catches for minus two yards. And Tyler Batty, who got injured, I hear he's all right, I guess. Uh, so that's good. But he had two catches for minus four yards. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, on the other side, Mike Williams at 67 yards. Lazard at 58. Garrett Wilson at 41. So nothing crazy over there. Garrett Wilson even had a fumble as well. So, yeah. Jets are 2-2. Two and two. Broncos are somehow 2-2 two and two after looking absolutely dreadful in the first two games. Uh, not the third game, but and also the fourth game. Uh, they But they still they found a way uh, to get some Ws. So, good for them. Uh, we got Eagles. Bucks. Pick the Eagles in this one. But I was afraid that the Buccaneers offense would go off. And that's exactly what happened. Mike Evans, touchdown. Trey Palmer, touchdown. Baker Mayfield, touchdown. Uh, McLaughlin, field goal. 24 nothing in the second quarter. Uh, but Eagles, Bears Campbell, uh, former Colts guy. He gets in the end zone after a nice drive. So 24-7 going into half. It's not completely out of reach. Um, and yeah, first drive in the third quarter. Eagles go down and score. Hurts runs one in. So 10-point game. The Buccaneers end up scoring a little bit later. But then... The extra point got blocked and returned. So instead of 31 to 14, it ends up being 30 to 16. So still two score game. You know, plenty of time. This was like middle of the third quarter. Plenty of time for the Eagles to come back. Plenty of time for them to drive and score, get some defensive stops. And they got some stops. They held the Buccaneers to a field goal. But the offense did nothing. Yeah, Eagles are doing two. Buccaneers are now 3-1, and one. so yeah, 33-16, quite a blowout there it ended up being, but yeah, they were they were in it, didn't feel like it uh, for a lot of it, but they were they were certainly in it, uh, let's take a look at the, the numbers, yeah, Jalen Hurts, only 158 yards and a touchdown, Mayfield, 347 and a touchdown, Hurts also had six sacks, so that's rough, uh, Barkley, 84 yards, so that's pretty good, but that's a down day for what he's had. <laughs> um, yeah, Hurts, 20 yards and a rushing TD. Bucky Irving ran one in. Uh, Mayfield ran one in. Evans, 94 yards and a touchdown. Godwin had 69 yards. K. Dotton at 52. Sterling Shepard at 51. Um, Dallas Goddard, 7 for 62. Barkley at 32 receiving. Uh, Dotson, two for 11. So much for a number three. Uh, the Eagles, you know, they didn't have their two top two guys, so definitely got to give them a pass on that one. Um, I might have switched my pick. I thought Devontae Smith was playing in this one. I would have definitely considered switching my pick if I knew um, during the previews, but it is what it is. I, I probably would have kept it anyway, so we'll just say I was wrong. <laughs> the next one, Bengals versus the Panthers. I picked the Panthers, so stupid. Um, yeah, and they ended up losing it. Uh, they're one and three now, but there are much worse things going on in Carolina right now, so I don't think they care about football that much. Um, but yeah, Bengals 34-24. They get their first win of the season, so they got the same record as the Panthers now. Uh, started off with a Chase Brown touchdown. Chuba Hubbard followed that up with a touchdown. Jamar Chase had a monster 63-yard touchdown. Xavier Leggett, the rookie, gets his first touchdown from Andy Dalton. Tie game. Zach Moss, end of the half, runs one in. So 21-14 for the Bengals. It was a close one. But first drive of the third quarter, Chase Brown runs in another. Bengals get the ball back later. They get a field goal. Deontay Johnson scores uh, towards the end of the third. So 31-21 going into the fourth. Panthers are able to get a field goal, cut it to seven. Uh, but end of the game, Bengals kind of held onto the ball. Ended up uh, just kicking a field goal, extending it to 10, and that was that. Joe Burrow, 232, two TDs, one pick. Andy Dalton, 220, two TDs, one pick for him. 
Johnny Hecker even threw one. I guess they went for it on one. <laughs> but Chase Brown, 80 yards, two TDs. Chew Robert, he got over 100 yards and had a touchdown. Deontay Johnson, seven catches, 83 and a touchdown. Xavier Leggett, six for 66 and a touchdown. Jamar Chase, three for 85 and a touchdown. And Zach Moss, he had four catches for 27 and a touchdown as well. So not too bad. T Higgins, six for 60. I think there's a reason he's not getting paid. I'm just kidding. But nice win for the Bengals. That's really a must win. You cannot go to 0-4. You're in big trouble if you end up at 0-4. That's for sure. Uh, but they'll be all right. Um, speaking of 0-4, Jaguars-Texans. This was the final 1 o'clock game of the day. And what's crazy is the Jaguars were leading for a lot of this. The Texans, they didn't play too well. Uh, but they... Well, they, okay, the Jaguars weren't leading for a lot of it. They were leading in the second half. So, Brian Thomas Jr., touchdown. Stephon Diggs scores. Um, Jaguars get a field goal. Nico Collins scores. Jaguars field goal. Texans field goal, so 17-13 at half. But then, you know, we're in the third quarter. Jaguars, they have a nice drive. Christian Kirk, AR touchdown. They're up three, heading into the fourth. And it took all the way until the end. All the way to the end. For a, a, a Goomba Wale <laughs> uh, to get a one yard pass from Stroud uh, to score and put them up 24 to 20 and get the win. Gotta feel bad for the Jags. At this point, they are a poverty franchise, that's for sure. But yeah, Texans are 3 and 1, Jaguars are going 4. And yeah, Lawrence 169, two touchdowns. It's actually not terrible for him, but 88 for 33. Uh, Stroud, 27 for 40, 345. Two TDs, pretty good day from him. Cam Akers, 53 yards rushing. Savon Diggs ran one in. <laughs> uh, Tank Bixby at 90 yards. ETN at 50 yards. Brian Thomas Jr., 6 for 86 and a touchdown. Uh, Kirk was 7 for 61 and a touchdown. Nico Collins, 12 for 151 and a touchdown. Monster day. Diggs, 5 for 69. And a, uh, a Goomba Wale, 4 for 47, and a touchdown. So, pretty good stuff from him. Alright, we head into the 4 o'clock games. Yes, up first. Got this one wrong. Okay, I picked the last one. I picked the Texans, by the way. I forgot to say that. But this one, Commanders versus Cardinals. Unfortunately, I picked the Cardinals. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate, indeed. Um, but this was... I was hoping it'd be a high-scoring game for both teams, but Commanders ended up destroying them 42-14. to They're 3-1, and one. Cardinals fall 1-3. Uh, Marvin Anderson Jr., though, he started it off. He got the first touchdown. Uh, then it was Brian Robinson. Then it was Jeremy Nichols. Then it was a field goal, so 17-7 at the half. Uh, Jaden ran one in. Then they got a field goal. And 27-7, to seven, all of a sudden it was out of reach. But end of the third, James Conner runs one in. And we go into the fourth. McLaurin, after a nice drive, he gets a touchdown. And then Jeremy McNichols, once again, another touchdown for him. 42-14. to 14. This game just got absolutely out of hand. The commander's offense, the streak was broken. They did have a possession, I guess, where they didn't score because Daniels did have a pick. But um, still, they are going crazy. It's wild. Uh, 26 for 30. 233, one TD, one pick. Um... Kyler is 142 in a TD. James Conner, 104 yards in a TD. Brian Robinson, 101 in a TD. McNichols, 68 yards, two TDs. Jaden had 47 rushing and a touchdown. Um, but yeah, McLaurin had 52 and a touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr., 45 and a touchdown. So yeah, pretty good stuff uh, still from the rookie, but Cardinals end up falling short in that one. Um, oh boy. Uh, Oh, we can skip this one. Oh, we can skip this. Uh, the Pats go down 30-13 to 13 to the Niners. That's rough. That's brutal. Um, Niners get to 2-2. Two two. Pats 1-3. and three. Uh, But yeah, start off with two field goals. Then it was Fred Warner pick six. Then it was George Kittle touchdown with Joey Sly. 63-yard field goal. Yeah, impressive. Um, but... Um, yeah, 20 to 3 going into the half. Austin Hooper scored. Jordan Mason scored. Fourth quarter, Pat's got another field, or another field goal. And then Jake Moody, another field goal. So 30 to 13. That's how you have that. Br 
Brissett, oh boy, uh, 168 yards, one TD, one pick. Birdie, 288, one TD, one pick. Jordan Mason, 123 yards and a touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson only had 43 yards and he fumbled. Gibson was the leading receiver. He had 67 yards. Juwan Jennings, 88 yards. Depot at 58. Ayuk at 48. Kittle at 45. So, yeah, that's that. Up next, I uh, should have another one. Another 4 o'clock should be the... Oh, wait, okay. I was thinking it was Chiefs Chargers, but there's also Browns Raiders. Forgot about them. Of course, I would forget that one. I picked the Browns. So I'm in denial, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're 1-3 and three now. Raiders are 2-2. Two and two. Uh, But Browns scored. Blake Whitehart caught one. Dustin Hopkins field goal. So they're up 10-0. But then Trey Tucker, Carlson field goal. So 10-10 and a half. Uh, Raiders field goal. DJ Turner touchdown. Get to the fourth. Uh, fumble return. Touchdown for the Browns. But then they missed the extra point. So... Then at the end of the game, they had to score a TD instead of get a field goal, and that ended up being a massive difference. So, yeah, tough one. Tough one for sure for, for the Browns. They are not good. Neither are the Raiders, but, uh, yeah, both those teams are, well, only the Browns are 1-3. and three, The Raiders are somehow 2-2. Two and two. That kind of blows my mind, but uh, that's all we need to say for them. Chiefs Chargers, 17-10 to 10 in this one. Um... Holmes injured his own guy. He wasn't that good, but Chargers, they had a chance, got the lead. McConkey had a touchdown. Then they had a field goal. Xavier Worthy had a big touchdown. Uh, Chiefs get a field goal, so 10-10 going into the second half. And Pete Ryan runs one in. Um, end of the, end of the, or not end of it, but halfway through the fourth. And, yeah. Um, Chargers had a chance, but turn up, miss field goal, turn over on downs, punt, punt. That's just not going to win you the game, unfortunately. But, yeah. Mahomes, uh, 245, 1 TD, 1 pick. Herbert, 179, 1 TD. Kareem at 69 yards rushing. P. Ryan had a rushing touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, only 32 yards. McConkey, the rook, 5 of 67 and a TD. Kelsey finally had a day, 7 for 89. Xavier Worthy, 3 for 73 and a touchdown. So, Chiefs are undefeated. Chargers are doing okay. They're at 2-2. Two two. Um, no worries there, but we go into Sunday night, Bills Ravens. This was an absolute blowout, um, complete domination by the Ravens. Derrick Henry sets the tone, 87 yard run. Bills get a field goal. Henry scores on the next drive. Then Justice Hill scores from Lamar. Uh, both those last two were touchdown passes, but so 21-3 going into the half. Bills are able to score 21-10. Lamar runs one in after a drive, 28-10, and then, um, I forget who fumbled, but Patrick Ricard then got the fumble in the end zone, and that made it 35-10, so that was that. <laughs> um, yeah, Lamar, 156, two touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 199 yards rushing and a touchdown. That's crazy. Lamar at 54 and a touchdown. Josh Allen, 180 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Uh, Khalil Shakir is the reading, leading receiver, 62 yards. Justice Hill had 78 yards and a touchdown. Likely had a catch. Babe Linton had a catch. Um, Henry had a receiving touchdown. So, yeah. Ravens get to 2-2. Two two. Bills get the first loss of the year. They are now 3-1. and one. Then we get into the Monday night games. Uh, Titans, Dolphins ended up being a blowout. It was close for a little bit. But not really. Uh, the Dolphins are in major trouble. Tyler Huntley, he was terrible. Um, but then Levis, Levis came out. Um, I actually, I never even saw what happened. Did Levis get injured or did they bench him? I I think I was, you know, they, I had both games. I was looking at both games. So I just missed if he got injured or if they just benched him. But Rudolph came in, 85 yards. Uh, Tony Pollard scored. Tajay Spears scored. Um, Tyler Huntley uh, ran one in. Um, but yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of weird stuff in this one, that's for sure. But a lot of field goals, too. The Dolphins are in trouble. They are 1-3. and three. The Titans get their first win and finally break 30 points for the year, so good for them. But they are still 1-3. and three. And then the final game, I picked the Seahawks in this one. A little upset by that, but, um, should have known the Lions would play well. Jared Goff, absolute domination. 
I mean, seriously. 18 for 18, 292, and a touchdown. That's crazy. Gibbs had two TDs. Montgomery had two TDs. Kenneth Walker had three TDs. Geno had 395 yards and a touchdown and a pick. But crazy good stuff. Jameson Williams had a 70-yard bomb, so he was two for 80 and a touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown had a touchdown. A.J. Barner had a touchdown. Metcalf had 104 yards, so 42-29 was the final. Lions are 3-1. and one. Seahawks are 3-1. and one. Pretty good games on Monday night. Um, uh, well, the first one was more just kind of sad, but this one was, you know, it's just tough watching the Seahawks play catch up, but that'll be it for this one. Let's listen to some sounds. <laughs> 